cash is king, but just not at your uh, local sporting event, not at McMahon Stadium, and probably not at your sporting event near you. Hi there, it's Brett Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel as, as I'm putting my cash back into my wallet. I only rarely carry cash on me anyway in person. I mean, I still need to uh, use cash to go to the laundromat, and that's why I have that money with me. But I'm going to talk about in this video that McMahon Stadium has gone cashless. Totally cashless. Kind of gone from one extreme to another. This might be one thing that is forever changed or ruined, depending on your perspective, because of COVID. But McMahon Stadium is totally cashless. And tickets are now electronic. The reason why I didn't do a ticket season ticket unveiling package is the fact that I didn't have any physical tickets to show you. As I can show you right here, this is on my Google Pay, and I'll show up one of my tickets that I've already from an expired game, but this was the home opener. This is what it looks like now, that they scanned that barcode. So this was my ticket for the home opener, and basically they all look like that except with a different logo. As for me, I'm with Android, so that was my Google Pay, and you have to follow along on the website on the you know where you get your tickets that's how you're able to uh, get your tickets and uh, I had to actually open up the website on my mobile app and then select my next event and save it to my phone this is Google Pay and you also got to navigate through the website but uh, the other thing I want to show right here is this is my uh, season ticket ID card this is what you get for your, your uh, discounts and that so that's the case at McMahon Stadium, is that they don't take cash at all. And I know that I did send fan surveys over time where they ask you any suggestions in that. And I did say, well, this is what I mean talking a couple years ago, saying it's 2017 or it's 2018. I've been to other stadiums in the CFL. You should be able to take, you know, debit or credit card payments at point of sale. Interesting in my line of industry, our abbreviation for point of sale is POS, which that acronym also means another thing, but uh, it used to be at McMahon. They only took cash in the concourse. And then there was a few in 2019 that had dedicated, where you had the option to pay with cash or with your cards. And I just found it was a hassle at the time that if I wanted to grab something, I'd have to go get cash because I, I really carry cash because everything's all electronic. You know, your paychecks, your payees, and automatic payments. And then the fact, you know, in case, you know, someone robs you, if you don't have any cash on you, then you minimize your losses and you quickly call your bank and your cards and say, freeze your accounts. But uh, it seems to go from one extreme to the other. It used to be you only take cash, and now it's all electronic. And I find that eventually... With, uh, you know, the vendors and, and that, you learn the process that's not that bad. I have a feeling that that's going to be the case at Flames Games, too, for this upcoming season. That you're not going to get a physical ticket anymore. And it's all going to be, you know, all on your phone. Either print it off. I mean, even then, you know, could you still print it off? I just save it electronically on my Google Play or Apple Pay, depending if you're on the Apple ecosphere. So that's where you save your tickets and Google Pay allows you to save all your credit cards and even all your uh, loyalty bonus your loyalty cards for your bonus points and that. But that's just my feeling. I think that's going to be another thing that is going to change forever because of this. That everything is now cashless. That everything's on your phone or you have to find a way. There's pros and cons. I mean, the pro would be is that maybe you don't accidentally lose your ticket or, you know, if your house burns down, you still have your ticket electronically. Or if you accidentally, I don't know, left your ticket in your jeans and throw it in the wash, and then you lose your ticket. But then, you know, you always have to worry about making sure you're in data to download your ticket. But chances are, if you're in a big city, you're able to uh, download tickets. But yeah, you just go to your, uh, 
you know, your Stampeders account where you manage your account and your tickets. On me, I'd be able to download my tickets on my phone for the next game. I just go into stampeters.com on my mobile phone and then select that next event. And then there's an option where you save to your phone and there it is on my Google Pay. So basically I'm going to say, what do you think about if you've gone to McMahon Stadium or any other sport event outside of Calgary? Has it been the case, you know, depending on where you're watching this, has it been cashless now? Or they don't take cash at all? Everything's all electronic, where it's either you have to have your card, ticket on the phone. I think it's going to be the case, the new normal. I know we keep hearing that term, but that's likely going to be the case for all sport events and concerts going in the future. I mean, it might be more of a learning curve for, you know, the older fans, but I mean, me, I've embraced it a lot more in the fact that Usually I find it's more of a hassle, which if I go do something or do anything in the future or in the past, uh, that I need to know right away, do I need cash on me? If they only accept cash, and then I want to make sure I have the cash on me and not use, you know, oh, but we have an ATM nearby. Yeah, those white ATMs that you charge 5 bucks to take out 20 bucks, and then you have your bank to take on another you know, more fees. You know, banks don't make enough money as it is, but uh, not for that, right? But... Uh, I guess cash isn't king anymore at your nearest sport event. So anyway, as I say, if you want to follow along with this Calgary sports fan's journey, home of the Flames, Hip, and Roughnecks, Stampeders, I mostly do talk Calgary sports on my YouTube channel, but I also do a variety of non-sports content when I have time, like personal logs, attempt to call me. I also do share my experience the same on the road or at a sport event. So if that all sounds like it'd be interesting to watch, do follow along with this Calgary sports fan's journey. You know what you do? Just uh, make sure you like and subscribe. I also have my other social links down in the description below. And also check me out on Red Hornby Shorts, where I put my YouTube shorts on that channel as well. So I appreciate the like and subscribe on my main channel and my second channel. So as I want to say, I'll keep enjoying all the games. No cash in hand. And I'll see you in the next video.